the topic of the video is scattering from a square well potential square well potential is defined as uh, v of r prime is equals to minus v naught for r prime uh, smaller than or equal to r naught some uh, fixed radius kind of thing and uh, it is zero for uh, r prime uh, greater than r naught the uh, the expression for uh, scattering uh, amplitude that we obtained uh, by using uh, the Bond's approximation for uh, the asymptotic limit is given by f is equals to minus 2 mu by h squared square q into the integration for r prime is equals to 0 to infinity r prime v r prime sine q r prime d r prime so in this if you substitute uh, the uh, value of v r prime which is uh, minus v naught just for uh, r prime less than or equal to r naught then this integral will actually kind of uh, take uh, uh, this form and uh, we can actually kind of uh, uh, remove this uh, minus v naught uh, out of the integral because it's a constant so we get uh, integration for uh, r prime uh, sine q r prime uh, so we can actually use uh, the integration uh, by parts method which is if you have integration a function u and v dx then it is equals to u into integration for v dx minus a big integration and then integration for v dx and then differentiation for u and then dx if you kind of take uh, the uh, function r prime as u and then sine q r prime as v then we can actually kind of see that uh, the integration will be r prime into the integration for uh, sine will be minus cos q r prime divided by q and the appropriate limits r prime is equal to 0 to r naught and then minus this uh, big integration with limits r prime is equal, to, is equal to 0 to r naught and then the integration for sine q r prime is again minus q uh, minus cos q r prime divided by q and then the differentiation for r prime is just 1 and then dr prime so our uh, scattering uh, amplitude will be 2 mu v naught by h cut square q into when we substitute the uh, the upper limit which is r naught we get minus r naught cos q r naught by q and then for the lower limit which was zero it will become zero so we don't uh, write it here and then uh, we can actually kind of uh, uh, take the minus sign un, uh, in front so it will become plus uh, one over q into this integration for cos q r prime uh, so it will give us uh, sine q r prime divided by q and then if you uh, with appropriate limits of r prime is equals to uh, 0 to r naught uh, for the upper limit we get uh, uh, 1 over q square into sine q r naught and then for the lower limit sine 0 is 0 so we don't write it and then if you remove the uh, minus r naught by q as a common factor we can actually write minus 2 mu uh, v naught into r naught divided by h square square q square and then cos q r naught minus sin q r naught divided by q r naught and if you approximate that uh, for uh, very low energy uh, k r naught will be very very small than one or q r naught will be very very less than one so uh, uh, cos q r naught can be actually taken only the first two terms of uh, the taylor series expansion which is one minus uh, one over two into q r naught square and then for the case of uh, sin q r naught only the first term itself which is q r naught so which means sin q r naught by q r naught is uh, written as one so if you uh, plug in all these approximations into the expression for uh, f then we get one minus uh, one over two into q r naught square minus one so this one this one will get cancelled and then even these two and these two will get cancelled and minus into minus will become plus and then this q square and this q square will get cancelled r square and then one r uh, i mean r naught square and then one r naught will make it r naught cube so we'll get finally the expression for scattering amplitude as mu v naught r naught cube divided by h cut square and the differential uh, scattering cross section is just a uh, modulus square of uh, f so we'll write uh, d sigma by d omega as mu square v naught square r naught power 6 divided by h cut uh, power 4 and then the total scattering cross section is just uh, this uh, double integral for theta and phi and then d sigma by d omega into sine theta d theta into d phi 
so if you do uh, i mean if you substitute uh, d sigma by d omega which is independent of uh, both the uh, theta and phi so it it will come out of uh, the integrals as uh, as constants and then the integration of uh, sin theta d theta for limits uh, theta is equal to 0 to pi will make it a value of 2 and then for uh, d phi then the integration value will be 2 pi because the limits are 0 to 2 pi so finally we will get uh, 4 pi into mu square v naught square r naught power 6 divided by h square, h square power 4 as our total scattering cross section that's it in this video and thanks for watching